Hello everybody, welcome to Tampa Bay Sports Talk. I want to talk about the upcoming draft, I want to talk about the Buccaneers offseason, or um, free agency, what we're going to do, who our quarterback is. But first I want to do a little intro about myself. Um, been a huge Buccaneers fan ever since I was little, as much as I remember. Um, I used to go to, to the games when I was a little kid, my dad used to take me. Um, I seen Big Nasty, Keith Kunzig. He um, seen him all dressed up in his gear and everything. So I thought maybe one day I would um, get season tickets and um, do something like that. So whenever I first ever became a season ticket me member back in 2014, um, I said, you know what, I want to um, paint my face. So I grew up a huge wrestling fan. So I painted him in my face like the ultimate warrior because I didn't see nobody else do it. Um, didn't know nobody, didn't know no other super fans, didn't know anybody. So I just went, went with it. And then um, over the time, I changed my scheme up a little bit, the colors. So whenever I first ever did it, there was an older guy in a couple rows back from where I said, he used to always call me, look, it's the Buccaneer Warrior. So that's when I came up with Buck Warrior on the back of my jerseys that I have. And so it stuck with me ever since. So that's how that became about. Um, so let's get back to the topic of the video. So first, who is going to be our quarterback? There are so many rumors and there's a lot of talk coming up now about Tom Brady um, coming to the Bucks. It's on NFL Network. It was on ESPN. I know everyone's going to be like, oh, they always talk that, but uh, Tom Brady's staying with the Patriots. He'll never leave. You never knew. No one ever knew. No one ever thought that Joe Montana would ever leave the 49ers. He went to the Chiefs at the end of his career. Peyton Manning left the Colts, went to the Broncos at the end of his career. So you never know um, with these quarterbacks um, and players. So no one ever thought Warren Sapp would leave the Bucks to go, you know, to the Raiders. So, um, so let's get to it. Um, let's see. Um, a lot of people were talking about Jameis Winston and oh his 30 interceptions. I know it, every single one of his interceptions wasn't his fault. Like O.J. Howard, right in his hands, boom, ball went over his shoulder, off his hands, picked off. Um, but the more, majority of his throws, if you watch his film, are right to linebackers, right to the um, Richard Sherman, right to the corners. It's like he just sometimes he just looks so great. Next thing you know, there's a pick six going back the other way, and it's right to the guy. It wasn't like um, – it was like you – no one can explain it. I don't know. It's just – it's got to stop if he's going to be our quarterback. So who wants Jameis Winston as our quarterback? Just, do y'all want Tom Brady? Do y'all want somebody else? People talking about Teddy Bridgewater. I don't see Teddy Bridgewater. He don't have a strong enough arm to come run – Bruce Arians' deep throwing offense. Um, our offensive line, people talking about, oh, our offensive line wasn't that good. Da, da, da. Look up the stats. The Bucks' offensive line was seventh in the NFL in ratings. Um, I know we didn't have a real strong run game. There's times where it showed um, we had a good run game. Ronald Jones started breaking some long runs um, towards the end of the season. Um, our free agents, JPP, um, Shaq Barrett, Sue, what are we going to do with those guys? Do y'all want them back? Um, Jason Light um, and um, Bruce Arians was talking about they want to bring back the whole core of that defense together and keep them together. Um, so I think that they're going to try to do their best and keep them together and add draft pieces around them. So um, it could be an, another stud defensive end. It could be um, to go on the other side of um, Sue and Vita Vea. Um, I don't know if William Goldson's going to be back. I'm not sure. Um, but that would be a nice stud to be on the other side. Now, um, our secondary started looking a lot better because of those guys pass rushing 
Um, it all starts up front with the pass rush. Everybody knows it. Um, if we never get no pass rush all in this league now with the rules, wide receiver is going to be running wide open. So if you don't get a pass rush and force the quarterback to throw off timing and everything, our corners will be in place to make some plays on the ball. And they're getting better, too. Remember, they are a very young secondary in this league. So um, let's see another running back situation. I don't think Peyton Barber's coming back. I don't know if the Bucks are going to resign um, there's been talk about Melvin Gordon coming to the Bucks. Um, David Johnson. Do you, what do you guys think about that? Do y'all want him to be? Do you want any of those running backs to be um, part of the Buccaneers, or do we go out and draft one? Um, I think the Bucks would draft one. Um, there's been um, talk about J.K. Dobbins from Ohio State um, being drafted. The Bucks could draft him in the second round. Um, who do y'all want the Bucks to pick in the first round? Um, a right tackle for um, Dotson. Um, he's old in age. I don't think he's going to be coming back. I don't think they're going to resign him. Um, let's see. Who else? Do you, who do y'all want? What, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Trying to look. I have wrote down some notes, so I'm trying to see what's up. What I'm going to do now. Um, and what about the uniforms? I know I had other videos. What about the uniforms? Um, Bruce Arians said in the interview that he thinks they're going to look more like the um, old Super Bowl style uniforms, but it's going to be different numbers, of course. Um, now, if you notice our um, last three draft picks, I have them posted up here. Um, of course, we're in Hargreaves, didn't work out. But Vita Vega is a stud, defensive tackle. Devin White is coming to his own. Um, I think our defense is going to be better this coming up season because we're going to add pieces to that defense that was already getting better at the end of the season. And But... We just got question marks about our quarterback. Um, you know, if Tom Brady comes, now I will tell you this. Now I will tell you this. The Glazers did say they want to be the first ever team to host their Super Bowl and be in the Super Bowl. Now, do you see that with Jameis Winston? I don't. The Glazers were also talking about they want a big splash for their quarterback. Tom Brady will bring asses to the seats at Ray J. He will sell the jersey. He will bring people to the games. He will get the attention brought to the Bucks. Something that we need something positive to the Bucks because it's always been negative. Oh, the Bucks are the same old Bucks. We ain't made the playoffs since 2009, 2007, whatever. And um, so... I think it's time for a big change. Um, I say if we did go after Tom Brady and bring Tom Brady in, um, I say he would probably be here one year and just try to make this run for that Super Bowl here in Tampa. And then next year, um, you know, we would draft an actual franchise quarterback for the future, um, which could be Trevor Lawrence. You never know. Um, Bucks could – um, trade up to get him. Who knows what the future holds for that? But um, because if you think about it, all the quarterbacks now are going to be having their um, drafting their quarterbacks this year. Um, next year, maybe the Patriots might need a quarterback unless Patriots, you know, pull off some move that they draft a quarterback this year. Um, who else do you have, who else out there do you think needs a quarterback for next year's draft? Um, can't really think of other team for next year besides the Buccaneers, Dolphins, Bengals. They're all getting their quarterbacks this year. Um, Chargers, Raiders could be. It depends on um, where Tom Brady goes. If you know what the Raiders do with that. Um, there ain't no other team I can really think of. Tennessee Titans. Um, they may next year go for a quarterback. I don't think they're going to keep Tannehill that long. They're, I'm sure they're going to let go of Mariota. 
Um, but what if um, Derrick Henry, he's a free agent. What if he comes to Tampa? That would be a one-two punch right there. Derrick Henry and Ronald Jones, that would be thunder and lightning right there. Um, but I don't know if the Bucks would have the cap room to sign all their defensive guys that they want to keep and bring in Derrick Henry because he's going to ask for a lot of money. And on top of the quarterback, too, because Tom Brady would be probably about $30 million. Um, but um, So tell me your guys' thoughts. Um, and what do you think about the draft? What do you, what do you think um, Bucks going to do with the quarterback situation? Who do you guys want the Bucks to draft on the number one overall pick? Well, not overall, but the um, 14th pick. Do you want them to trade down? Do you want to trade up? Let me know. All right. And I will catch you back. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And follow me on Twitter. All right. See you.